Peace, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal Devon Queen, and this is my Indigenous Lifestyle. If you've been keeping up with my Becoming a Doula journey, then you guys already know that I was thinking about going back to training. Well, I did. I went back and I got some doula training. I took a doula course. In my previous video, I let you guys know that I went or I attended my first networking event as a doula, as a birth worker, as a home birth companion. And while I was there, I had the pleasure of meeting Earth, who provides a doula course. If you haven't checked out that video, definitely check it out because Earth does more things than just provide doula courses but i did it y'all i went back and i got training something that i said that i probably was not going to do all praises i found someone out there that is a part of my tribe that provides a doula course that aligns with the type of birth work i want to do so let me tell y'all guys about it okay it was a three-day course it was all virtual so every day we met up and we had um at minimum an hour long webinar it was not expensive it cost four hundred dollars and it also had the option where you could make payments so it's very affordable and we talked about a lot of different things during her course she broke down her definition of what is a doula something that she had us do that i really really loved was she had us create an affirmation just for our clients almost as like a gift to our clients to remind them of during the birth experience or even the prenatal experience just to kind of center them and remind them of why they're doing this the way that they're choosing to do it. She taught us about prenatal meetings and how to have one and what to talk about and what type of things you should do at a prenatal meeting. Uh, let me back up a little bit because she advised us on accepting clients, how to choose clients that are right for you, clients that are not, how to turn those clients down but still be professional, and just gave us advice on things to look out for that could be red flags or green flags when you have your consultation with potential clients. She talked to us about networking, the importance of networking, different ways to network, and also how to gain experience if you are a new birth worker who hasn't had her first client yet. Something also that she taught us about that I actually never heard of before was blessing ways. Now, I have heard of, you know, having a type of event for the mother because you know how baby showers are usually just for the baby um so i was kind of familiar with that but i never knew a name for it so blessing ways was something that she taught us about and she also advised us on how to incorporate that into our business uh, because being a doula isn't the only way to earn income in birth work um there's so many different aspects of birth work that need touching on you know what i'm saying so blessing ways was just another service that you can add um to your business so any doulas out there watching my videos research blessing ways and also with other services we talked about placenta encapsulation um lotus births and just different ways of how to be of service to people or mothers who want to have those services done as well because we all know that there's more than one type of doula um you don't have to just be a birth doula or a postpartum doula there's so many other types of doulas that they're that you can be <laughs> i learned a lot during this course she didn't just teach us about how to conduct your business and taking clients you know she also talked to us about home births and hospital births and that's what i really like the most about it because she's done both so she had wisdom to give us about both experiences whether you have a client who wants to do hospital birth or a home birth even for someone like me who wants to strictly support home births there are going to be instances where we may need to transfer to a hospital birth so it's still important for me to know how to navigate 
those experiences. It's actually especially important for me to know how to navigate those experiences because I am coming into the environment in the case of an emergency and I'm not going to be familiar with any of the you know medical staff and so it's more than likely going to be a tense situation just depending on how they receive me as a professional being her home birth companion another thing that she talked about that i was so glad she you know touched on this topic was being a traveling doula how to conduct your business that way how to remain safe you know if anyone out there wants to be a traveling doula like i do i definitely see myself in the future being a traveling doula um one thing that she told us that i do want to share is don't travel alone which okay might kind of sound like common sense but you just never really know what type of environment you're going into so regardless of what the zoom conversation is about you know the energy that you feel taking them on as a client just never ever 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 travel alone <laughs> we also talked about working with midwives something that she advised us of that i didn't even think of was she said never take a client or never take a home birth if there isn't going to be a midwife present and i wanted to share that with you guys too because you something that i didn't realize because i was definitely willing to take clients if it wasn't going to be a midwife there just solely based off the fact that i know that you know a woman is capable of birthing on her own even with just that support so what i didn't think of though was that when the midwife is gone, I become the most knowledgeable person in the room, which means I become the one liable if anything were to go wrong. And, you know, we all going to make sure that we pick clients who we vibe with and have good energy with. But, you know, if something goes wrong with that baby. Things can go left very, very quick, no matter how cool, you know, we all seem to be with each other. So doulas never take a home birth without a midwife because you want to protect yourself and if you do decide to take births without a midwife then make sure that you have things in line you know legally um insurance wise to protect you if things go wrong and that's when contracts also come into play as well too her course also had a couple of guests so we got to talk to a doula who was strictly a postpartum doula and i also got to talk with an herbalist so i learned so much from the postpartum doula things that i didn't even take into consideration when providing postpartum services even if it's just going to be for that one or two prenatal meeting that comes with my birth package and i learned even more from the herbalists and it really has me interested in just tapping more into herbs which i've always had an interest in that even before i even thought of you know birth work or being a birth worker because i'm a big advocate on just you know healing thyself and i really understand that herbs is the true medicine so it was really really good to actually learn from and talk to you know ask questions from a certified herbalist and then of course that just opened up the gateway to you know what should be in your doula bag not only did the herbalist give us information about that and just herbs to look into and research on our own that can be beneficial for labor and birth or pregnancy earth also gave us things that we should include in our doula bag that we probably wouldn't think of especially if we haven't had any birth experiences yet but overall y'all that's pretty much what the course was about like i said it was very very informational i learned a whole lot i took a lot of notes i got a lot from the course and i'm so glad that i invested in and i invested in myself i will say that when it comes to taking courses or training um i did get you know a certificate of of completion um but when it comes to those things you guys don't just limit yourself to one 
training or one course, you know, or just one certificate because different birth workers have different ways of doing things and they have different styles and just different wisdom that they can offer you. So I'm still interested in the other training out in Missouri. That would be something that I would have to plan for, you know, sometime 2022. But don't limit yourself to just one course and think that you've learned it all. Don't go overboard now and be taking about five or six different trainings. But, you know, two or three different trainings is good. You will be able to get everything you need. Yes, you can learn a certain amount of stuff through schooling and training and courses, but the real experience, the real learning, the real knowledge and wisdom comes from experience. So, don't go overboard with classes, but don't just take one class. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that's it. That's all I got for you. Um, I'm not going to go too, too much in detail as far as everything I learned because I'm not getting paid for that. Um, and plus, if you're interested, you can just check out her course for yourself. As I said earlier, it is very affordable. So thank you guys for tuning into my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, turn on my notifications, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.